नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन लिफिट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज एनालिटिकल कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ लिफिट्स सो द रिएक्शन विच गिवस वैल्यूएल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द केमिकल नेचर ऑफ द फैटी एसिड्स एंड द नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप प्रेजेंट इन द फैट मॉलिक्यूल सच केमिकल डिटर्मिनेशन इन्वॉल्व वेरियस एनालिटिकल टेस्ट एंड दीज टेस्ट आर कॉल्ड एज केमिकल कॉन्स्टेंट विच इंक्लूड द फॉलोइंग वेरी फर्स्ट इज द एसिड वैल्यू सेकेंड वन इज द सेपोनिफिकेशन नंबर थर्ड वन इज द आयोडीन वैल्यू फोर्थ वन इज द फोलेंसिक नंबर फाइव फिफ्थ वन इज द आर एम नंबर दैट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रिसर्ट मिसल नंबर एंड द लास्ट वन इज द एस टेन नंबर सो कम टूवर्ड्स द फर्स्ट दैट इज द एसिड वैल्यू सो एसिड वैल्यू मे बी डिफाइंड एज it is the number of milligrams of kvh required to neutralize the free fatty acid present in 1 g of fat so the acid number tells us about the quantity of free fatty acid present in the fat so obviously a fat which has both processed and stored properly has a very low acid number it means what if the, the fat is stored well or processed well that is having less number of free fatty acid it means the fat or fat is having good quality fat okay so come towards the saponification number so saponification number may be defined as the number of milligrams of kvh required to saponify 1 g of fat so the saponification number this tells us about the average chain length of the fatty acid in the fat it varies inversely with the chain length of the fatty acid it means the shorter the average chain length of the fatty acid the higher is the saponification number it means if saponification number of the fat is more than it contains the shorter chain fatty acids so come towards the iodine value so it is the number of grams of the iodine absorbed by 1 g of fat so the iodine number is a major of a degree of unsaturation of the fatty acids in the fat so oils like soya bean corn and cotton seed having higher iodine number it means that is having more number of unsaturation in the fatty acid then uh, the solid fats such as the beef fat that is having very low iodine number that is the 42 because of the former process the more unsaturated fatty acids in the fat molecules so uh, that should be in the clear in the mind that the iodine number does not tells about the number of double bonds present in the individual fatty acid that gives the information about the degree of unsaturation of the fatty acids in the fat average in the average so come towards the polens number it is the number of milliliters of 0.1 normal kvh required to neutralize the insoluble fatty acids it means those which are not volatile in with steam distillation obtained from the 5 g of fats so now come towards the rm number that is the research missile number it is the number of milliliters of 0.1 normal kvh required to neutralize the soluble volatile fatty acids derived from the 5 grams of fat so rm number thus tells us about the quantity of short chain fatty acids up to the carbon number 10 Uh, in the fat molecule the rm number of the coconut and palm oils range from between 5 to 8 and the butter fat is having the more exceptional higher research methyl number that is ranging from 17 to 35 so what is the significance so significance of the rm number it if the high value is possible the detection of the any foreign fat which are sometimes adulterated in the manufacture of the butter and also it is a major of the amount of volatile soluble fatty acids so come towards the style number it is the number of milligrams of qh required to neutralize the acetic acid obtained by saponification of 1 g of fat after it has been acetylated huh? this is treated with uh, uh, how this uh, this is acetylated by the treatment 
of fat or fatty acids with the acetic anhydride uh, result in the esterization of all alcoholic OH group to the acetyl group. So the acetyl number is thus a uh, measure of the number of OH group in the fat. For example, a castor oil has a high acetyl number that is the 146 because of the high content of the hydroxyl acid that is the lysinolic acid in it. So that's all about the analytical constraints of the lipids. And now our next and the last uh, lecture will be on the topic of the biological role of the lipids. So thank you for watching. Thanks.